Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and Reactive Chemistry module. This is video number nine, and we're going to be looking at uh, an example of an acid carbonate reaction in this particular video. So acid carbonate reactions are just another type of neutralization reaction. You remember that when we were looking at neutralization reactions, we were looking at the fact that one of these products is water. This time, though, the um, water is produced in the reaction between an acid and a metallic carbonate. So let's look at one or two examples to get a bit of a sense of what's going on here. In addition, when we look at our general equation, so if I just put the general equation first of all, in the general equation, a metal carbonate plus an acid being a neutralization reaction is going to give us water. It's also going to give us a salt. But in this case, we get one more product, which is carbon dioxide gas. Uh, the gas uh, bubbles, so this particular uh, reaction effervesces. And as a result of that, you can actually see the bubbling. Um, and we can test those bubbles. Uh, to determine or at least to positively identify them as actually carbon dioxide using the lime water test, which is the major test that we use to identify carbon dioxide. So a specific example, let's look at um, maybe one of the most common ones, sodium carbonate, uh, which if we have that as a solid, we can add something like hydrochloric acid to it, which usually we would add as a solution. And that will form H2O liquid, uh, CO2 gas. And then the salt, once again, is going to come from the anion of the acid and the cation of the base, which in this case is our carbonate. So the combination of the H plus ions, which are part of our acid, and our CO3 2 minus ions, which is our anion of our base or our carbonate, these are going to form the water and carbon dioxide that we uh, need in this particular reaction. So therefore, the salt that's left over is going to be, in this case, NaCl, which is the common salt. This is soluble in water, so it's given the subscript Aq4 aqueous. Now, I'm going to just need to balance this equation to make sure that this is the case. And again, um, the first thing I notice is there's two sodiums on this side, so I'm going to put a 2 out the front here. This 2 out the front means there's two chlorines, so I'm going to put a 2 out the front of here. And then I've got 2H, so H2, and then a CO2, and then extra oxygen is going to go here. So now all of these things are balanced, and I can give myself a little tick for balancing. This is an example of an acid carbonate reaction. You'll notice that it is a form of neutralization because, again, we are producing salt and water. The difference this time is we get carbon dioxide gas as an additional product. And that carbon dioxide is given off. And as I said, we can bubble that through lime water, which is calcium hydroxide, and form the um, precipitate calcium carbonate, which um, is insoluble and therefore forms a suspension, a white suspension, and that's what makes the lime water look cloudy. Alternatives to this are the metal carbonates that you might be aware of. So something like if we say used copper carbonate and we used uh, sulfuric acid, for example. This is another example of the same type of reaction. So part of what we're looking for is saying this is a carbonate and this is an acid. And as a result of that, our products are going to be water plus carbon dioxide plus the salt, and we can figure out the salt again the same way we did before by splitting our two compounds up. The cation that's here is the copper, the anion that's in the acid is the sulfate, so our salt this time would be copper sulfate, and we know that's a nice blue color, but it is also soluble, so it will be aqueous. You can see we can do lots of different examples to identify the types of products that we get from acid carbonate reactions. But the key is this is another type of neutralization. So we get water plus a salt 
plus carbon dioxide. And we can find the nature of the salt simply by removing the water and the carbon dioxide from our uh, reactants and seeing what we get left behind in order to form our salt. A bit more practice and you'll be comfortable with these sorts of equations too. Thanks for watching.